What's up, guys? It's your boy, Benny. I'm a Christian. I believe that demons are real. I believe that angels are real. I believe in the spiritual realm for certain. And I know that there is a God and there is a devil. I know those things. And anybody who has had any type of uh, interaction with the great beyond uh, is aware, ladies. To ask anybody who's had a near-death experience is a good example of that. Ask anybody who's worked, like, in the in wartime. Right. There there are no atheists in foxholes, they say. Right. Anybody who's served in the front lines. It's pretty plain to see that there is something else going on than just this mortal realm, especially if you have brushes with the great beyond. And well, one of the ways to do that is to fly when you're flying. It's a high stress environment. You know, again, you're in a little tube that's traveling really fast, way up in the sky. And maybe some people just while out. Maybe some people aren't real. Right telling you right now that MFR isn't real. And maybe there are actual demons on planes. There is new interesting video that is ping pong balling around the internet of a demon on a plane. Well, what is this? There's this scenario that happened where a woman is, who is a gospel singer is singing on a plane and another woman has like what can only be described as a demonic reaction to the singing. And she's like climbing over seats and like writhing and screaming. Like, look at this. The the lady right here, the brunette. This lady is like, like screaming and hollering and like, look at this. And climbing, kind of like the exorcist, when like the girl is possessed by the demon and is like crawling on the rooftop and stuff, twisting its head around. It's very, very similar vibe. Now, do I know this lady is demon possessed? I don't know. I'm not an exorcist, but do I know something's crazy on this flight? Here's what the tweet says. Possessed woman starts screaming and climbing over seats on a frontier airline flight. Oh, well, that's what it was. She was flying frontier. Any Anybody wants to scream and climb over their seats when they're flying on frontier. There's only so much of that crap you can take. Claiming she was kidnapped after a situation briefly calmed down, a woman got up and declared that the woman was possessed and started singing gospel music. Stop blocking me. I've been effing kidnapped, the woman said. She screamed and she hit an employee. The flight was leaving from Houston to Denver and was diverted to Dallas. The woman on the flight said he was diverted to get the crazy woman off, the gospel singer off, the man in the white hat off. Interesting. Watch the clip and you decide. Thank you. 
Hero sings gospel music to free demons from possessed woman on plane. You know what? I got to tell you, spiritual realm, man. It is real. It exists. It is real. So say what you will, but I got to tell you, when you watch people behave like this, there's got to be something to it. Again, I'm a Christian. The New Testament is something that I like to read, enjoy reading and uh, reading about Christ uh, and his interactions with the demonic world, right? Something that we never talk about at all these days. But Christ's interactions with demons, right, is is often the possession of someone else, someone there, someone's body. Maybe that's what the lady said and meant when she said she was kidnapped. She's being overtaken. And then of course, like the the actions, right, of that person becomes crazy. They be, they become uninhabitable. They they don't operate by societal rules. They go nuts. So you're seeing some weird stuff happen uh on flights. Maybe flights are like portals to the great beyond. I don't know, man. This is something from a Chinese airline in January. A plane erupting into panic as a man shouted that he was stuck in a time loop. The cycle, he claims, that the plane crashed and everyone died. And then a return to this point. He also said that the flight attendant wasn't a human and was a robot and was changing her battery. The flight ended up not flying and multiple passengers became worried and got off. This guy was sent to a medical institution in China. You know what that means. <laughs> Not allowed to do this in China. Here's a more crazy thing happening. Look at this demonic action on a plane. What is happening here? Watch this. This is crazy on a plane. Some ladies getting up and like writhing in the air. And like climbing on the seats. And I'm not exactly sure that she's defying gravity necessarily, but she's like behaving like a demonically possessed person. What else can I, what else can you call this kind of behavior? It's nuts. People are spiritually unwell. We live in heightened times of uh, spiritual activity. I, I believe that to be deeply true. It's just that we don't see it through the lens that our ancestors used to see these things. Our ancestors used to see spiritual problems and spiritual solutions. Now we don't see it that way anymore. We somehow think that we're totally advanced and that we can figure things out ourselves. Just give the person some Xanax, right? Take care of it. Put them on drugs. Maybe a lot of these people uh, do need institutions. Probably that'd be best. We closed down a vast majority of our mental health institutions, and it's been devastating for everyone in this country, for all of our inner cities, for all, for everyone. Frontier Airlines unruly passengers caught on video freaking out, we say. Freaking out. Is it a freak out or is it something deeper, darker? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not sure, but here's what I do know. One person tried to warn us. One person tried to tell us that these demons, ladies and gentlemen, are super real. Watch. Come on. I'm telling you, I'm getting the f off, and there's a reason why I'm getting the f off, and everyone can either believe it or they cannot believe it. I don't give two f but I am telling you 